Edo election did not end well. The PDP chief ten, Chief Emmanuel Odigi, weeps over alleged APC rigging. See what APC did then eh, was something that it just that I, I'm not allowed to play certain clips here. I've played a clip of a guy who was innoc innocently talking about what happened because it was eyewitness news. He talked about how the APC people cooked food, gave people money, and the security office officials were sitting there watching nothing. They even joined in eating. Now, this APC chieftain cried on national TV. And Rufai, who was the person anchoring, was telling him to calm down. He should not cry. The man was still crying. He talked about how many people came in from outside the country to vote for the PDP candidate. And when they came and saw what happened, they went back and said they were not going to come back to Nigeria again. Then he also talked about how a man who had lost his wife them the day before the election they saw him at the polling unit trying to vote and when they asked him sir what are you doing here he said no they had promised that when the the man works with um the the Bini university and then he said the pdp man had come to speak to them about his election and all and they had promised to come vote him so even with what had happened the man still came to vote and somebody on the comment section asked he said the day peter will be lost election or the day they did this to him did this man cry how was he feeling so the video came under the comment section and said that Rufai should not tell this man not to cry that he remembered in 2018 when the uncle lost the video said he went he became so he was crying and he had to buy biscuit and weather malt to take. See, you, if your person has never lost an election, you will not understand. If your person had not lost an election, you will not understand. I remember when they robbed my brother of his position. My brother was, how old was he? He was in his early, I think he was around his late 30s or maybe early, or maybe he just clocked 40. And somebody robbed him of this position. He was contesting for the uh, for House of Reps. If, if you have never... For those of us who felt the pain when Peter will be lost, Peter will be... Should we say when Peter will be lost or was robbed of his position? A lot of people cried on social media, both children, adults. So the person is asking, did he cry like this when Peter will be was robbed of? Then this man was saying that the APC chieftain... Uh, Chief Emmanuel Od Ad Odige said that he thought that these women who travel from outside the country to come vote, they were thinking that with uh, what Tinibu did in Lagos, Tinibu will uphold, he will uphold democracy and allow the will of the people to prevail. I laughed in Spanish because it is not even possible for that to happen. When Tinibu did not even allow them to finish election, they had already prepared speech Abayo Nanuga had already read out the speech that the president sent. Is it that one that you are thinking that the president... I was even praising INEC for what they have done. So you think Tinibu will want to feel... Tinibu that sent... um When Adam Soshimole was, re uh, you know, removed and he didn't make it, they said they rigged him out. Tinibu called them... He's the former... This former uh, vice president, Usibanjo, Yemi Usibanjo, and they went outside the country to ensure that they will get forensics. They went to get forensic experts. And when they got these forensic experts, they came to try to put things in order. They went to court and they won this case. Adam Sushimole was sworn in and as a do governor. And do you know that is why? Because of that, you know, tribunal they went to and won that case, they swore in Adam Sushimole. A lot of people were very happy that, which means even though the other party in the, in the federal, is not their same party and some other person can actually win, they thought things will be okay. Now, he got to Peter B. Stone. He went to court. What did they do? Just like they are, the APC is telling PDP and Labour Party go to court. Because you know that when they go to court, they will not win now. What happened to Peter B. with all the forensic, all the evidence this guy, man gathered? The court did not still do anything. So you see, and this is why we say, let the judiciary have it, or let it have autonomy. Because if it does and it's functioning, nobody will come and tell the judge what to do. Isn't that what we have been clamoring for? You know, until it happens to you, you will never, you know, know what you are supposed to do. Well, let us read comments from Nigerians. The video say, 
you go you know go cry okay there's nothing more painful than losing an election 2018 we lost now now malt and biscuit i used to console myself they cry like idiot and that person said this crying up they don't cast this other person said don't cry don't cry it is well and that person said the first time i'm seeing albino crying because the man is actually an albino those person people were strong well well i'm yet to see that you know this one said crocodile says this other person said my first time seeing albino crying this other person said first time seeing why is it this was say hope he felt this way when Peter Obi was robbed of his victory in broad daylight, it is well. You see, that's what I used to tell people. When somebody is bereaved, mourn with the person. Even the Bible says mourn with the person. So that in case it comes to your own turn, you too, you have someone to mourn with you. Because it's not enough for you to say, ah, it's Peter Obi, you didn't support him, this, that, that. Because Peter Obi is not in your party. But now hope you still you you felt this way when peter Obi was robbed because if something is wrong to a it can be it's wrong to b and c nobody should say oh it's after it's peter Obi. it is not me if you know they did something to someone and you know it's wrong stand and say this thing you did is wrong you understand say, stand and say it's wrong because if you don't say it's wrong and then you wait until it's your turn and you now call it wrong, then that's hypocrisy. That's not you not being truthful. Because if you are truly looking at it from the point of upholding the rule of law, you should condemn anything that sits, you know, against the rule of law. You should say no to it in any form it comes. You know, Rufai was practically begging him not to cry. Rufai begged him not to cry. He kept, you know, talking and weeping. He was so vulnerable throughout this interview. You know, somebody say all of them narigas, but APC won the shock weary. Now, the guy who spoke in that interview I wanted to put here, but because of reuse content, voila. The guy mentioned that PDP also paid money, but APC paid more money. And the Labour Party did not pay any money because, of course, they didn't pay. They, they don't believe in giving anyone shishi, which is good. Because those are the kind of people we want to enter into power. Because if they don't bribe you, to put them into power they will do something knowing that they can you can also remove them but you see all these big men that are going to politics giving you money and you are collecting they know very well that they won't do anything as they have given you that beans or rice or no or sugar or whatever they gave you that's what you eat for the next four years they won't do anything because they know when they come back they will use the same money to buy your votes they know vote buying is is something that you people can never say no to so they will buy your votes. So they are saving the money they are refusing to use and do schools to buy your votes. So it's high time we condemn what is wrong when it's wrong. Don't say because it is not you, it's happening to. You know, somebody said, Mr. Emmanuel, don't cry, you don't cry. Person, they cry and Rufai, they tell him, make you no cry. Of course, Rufai has to, you know, speak to him as a man. This one said, Edo State election was perfectly free and fair election because APC and PDP both bought votes and the highest bidder won the race. You can imagine. Are you hearing that? Hmm. This was to say with everything going on in this country, if someone travels out by any chance, the person no go come back again. This another person say even if even even if you believe anything, seeing Abino crying for the first time is so emotional. Hmm. This was in say forces against Obaseki was too much, but Obaseki too messed up because fighting with your own deputy is wrong. You should have just allowed the man. You can just tell him, okay, go ahead. If he comes to meet you, just give him your blessing. But you in your mind, you know who you are supporting. You don't begin to fight somebody to the point where you divide your party. Obaseki didn't do well. This one say, don't cry. All Nawash Niger has been sold. To who now? Who has it been sold to? This one say the pain is real. This one say you you go see rigging, I go turn you. This one say all political parties are the same. Let's forget about sentiment. APC will never lose guide that position just as PDP did. And if PDP is lucky to get that position again, it's finished. You see? This one say no money for um for the next eight years. You can imagine what people are saying. So it's good to condemn things when they happen to.